I have another coach unboxing for you. This one should be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. It's something I've thought about getting the Louis Vuitton version of for a while, but I haven't been able to bring myself to spend that much money on it because it's not something I think I would use that often to justify the price. And I recently found this coach one. I had never seen it in this size before, so I snatched it up during a sale. I'll tell you all about it in this video, so stay tuned. <laughs> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. One of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage who talks about deals and sales and discount codes and rare finds related to these wonderful, beautiful things we love. This is something I talked about in a community post. It was a sale that Coach had. It was 30% off a lot of things. This is one of two items that I purchased from that sale. Only two things. So let me find my handy dandy box cutter and get into this box. Here we go, cutting a box. Oh, there was trouble. Something is blocking it. Oh no. Oh. I persevered and I made it through. Got the box open. Coach! I tell you what, I have become convinced that at least with some of their pieces, Coach is really a luxury brand in disguise a bit. I've been so impressed with a lot of their designs and quality and the way they package things that they ship to you. Look how all this is packaged. It has that paper with the coach sticker, you get a postcard, you get a pillow of tissue paper to fill the box, you get your receipt in an envelope just like a, at a fancy place like Louis Vuitton, and this is my item wrapped up like a gift in tissue paper with this lovely coach sticker. I mean, it's really nice. This item, when I purchased it, was available in three different colors, and there was another one that I was very tempted to get, but I figured I'd be safe and go with this one. I'll tell you why. I shall explain. Here we go. And by the way, I did see this in the store before I purchased it, but I did not see the black one. Let me take this off as well. This is the Coach Julienne Cosmetic Case in the 22 centimeter size. So this is the large size. It also comes in a pink color, like almost a fuchsia. It's a pretty bright pink. And of course I will link these below. And then it comes with the brown or tan on tan um, CCs, the signature CCs. And I think it had the rust color. It's like a red orange almost trim on it, on that one. And I have been in love with that colorway recently. So I really thought about getting that. But I figured I would probably use this more as a travel piece than a daily inside my handbag piece or even a clutch. It could certainly be used as a clutch. My travel pieces are black, so I figured I would get the black one so it matches. And it's classic, you know, I'll never get sick of the black with gold combination. Let me give you an overview of it here. It is in this grained leather, you can see there. It, it reminds me of Safiano. It's not Safiano, but it has um, that kind of feel to it, I guess. It feels more like a Safiano than it does like a soft pebbled leather. It feels like it has a stiffness to it, uh, more structure to it. And right now it's stuffed. It has the antiqued gold hardware. And then around the side, you can see it is domed shaped. So obviously when I mentioned the Louis Vuitton piece I thought about getting, I have the small domed cosmetic, and I thought about getting the Louis Vuitton large cosmetic, but I didn't really want it just in monogram, and I didn't want to pay five or six hundred dollars for it because I wouldn't use it all that often. This piece retails for 95, but with the 30% off sale, it was 66. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Here's the size comparison there. I guess I should do one thing at a time because I haven't even given you a full spin of this yet. It's quite a bit larger than the small cosmetic from Louis Vuitton, isn't it? Here are the bases together. That gives you, like you could fit two or three of these inside the big cosmetic pouch. When I saw this in the store, I'm going to commit to giving you a 360 view of this right now. So you have the zipper that goes pretty much end to end. You've got the leather that's folded over here to make these corners. So you would wanna be careful with the corners. It's the same construction as the Louis Vuitton. 
and some people get corner wear if you're not careful with those. And then here's the back, so nothing on the back, and there's the other side, still has the little tag on it. So the zipper has a leather pull on it, and again the antiqued gold hardware. There's the base, it has one seam running down the side, and then the zipper that goes all the way around. And of course I'll show you the inside in a minute. Another thing to note are these little seams there at the top and that's just a normal part of the construction of a bag like this and I really like that because this doesn't have it and having those seams gives the top of the pouch um, it, it allows it to be wider so you'd be able to fit more in this pouch than you would in the Louis Vuitton one uh, in the GM size. It has a lip around the zipper. Let's see if that kind of rubs. It does look like the zipper piece kind of rubs against that. So that's something that I may want to be conscious of over time. I don't know if that would wear the edges of the leather, but it's something to be aware of. I love just the little simple C logo there. It's very classy, classic, like this will never go out of style. The interior, like I said, I had not seen the black one in the store. And on the website, they only have a picture of the front of the pouch like this. They don't show you the inside or anything else. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do a video on this so you could see the inside because I was impressed with the inside of this bag when I saw it in the store. They have it very well stuffed and a couple of silica packs. Okay, you ready to see this? First of all, if you're worried about the zipper going all the way down, it does have pretty high pieces of, uh, I don't know if it's leather, it's thin if it's leather. No, no, it's not leather. It's some kind of wipeable material though, and that was something I was impressed with as well, is the interior is wipeable. But it has that so your stuff is not going to fall out when you open it up. So that's a really good thing to know about because I was concerned when I saw the zipper went all the way around. And then there's the inside. So you can see it's kind of shiny, wipeable. And this is a very deep burgundy. Looks like it's leather trim right there on that pocket and that pocket. So there's a big slip pocket. They're the same size. They appear to be the same size. There are big slip pockets on both sides. Let me get all the styrofoam out. And the Coach Creed, and that had a little bit of styrofoam behind that too that I took out. So there's the Creed. I was just impressed with this. And it does, I think you can tell, the interior has um, Coach written on it in several places. So I was really impressed with the inside of this bag I and the outside. I just thought, I mean, this is like a luxury brand, one of the high big name ones they could charge a lot more for this. Like Louis Vuitton could make exactly the same piece and they would charge, you know, $700 for it. There's paperwork in the pocket, like care instructions. It's just a fantastic travel piece or if you carry a lot in your handbag that you could fit this in, it would be great for a handbag. I can imagine this getting pretty heavy depending on what you put in it. Seeing this, you know, one, two things. I'm, I'm thinking several thoughts at the same time. First of all, the Louis Vuitton piece, I did a video recently on attaching these D-rings into those leather loops so that you can attach a strap and make this a clutch with a wristlet on it or a shoulder bag or crossbody bag. And it would be really nice if this had that too because it's definitely big enough to be a bag. And you could certainly carry it as a clutch. And I'm tempted because this is so very well constructed and I could see it being really useful. I'm still tempted to get that one with the CCs on it, but I think I'll restrain myself. I think one of these is enough and the black one was the right one for me. Personally, I would love to see this in more of a pebbled leather or a really smooth leather. This is not my favorite kind of leather. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just personally not my favorite, but fantastic toiletry on its own, fantastic alternative to the Louis Vuitton Cosmetic Pouch GM, much cheaper price, or if you're thinking about getting that one, which I believe is a little smaller than this. Let me give you the dimensions on this, by the way. Then if you're thinking about that cosmetic, but you're not sure about it and you wanna test out something similar first, this would be a good thing to test out. So this is nine inches across by four inches deep and six and a half inches high. It's a sizable pouch. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.